now let us see the code for joining two data sets so first i will pick up this code which we have seen earlier to read data from uh, orders and then i am pasting the same and modifying to read data from order items if you preview the data for one of these two data sets let me copy this line and paste it into spark and then if i preview by saying for i in orders dot take of 10 print of i you can see that each of the record in the file is nothing but a string with four attributes uh, which contain comma as delimiter and from here we need to identify the fields that needs to be um, processed and convert this data into key value pair so as per our problem statement which i have explained as part of last topic we want to get order id order date and then order item subtotal which is part of order items right so order id and order date is available for, uh, from is available in orders hence i need to get order id and date from here in the form of a pair not in the form of a string for that we have to convert each of the element in this rdd which is of type string into a pair for example this one record has to be converted to tuple like this So that we can join with order items. So, same is the case with order items. We have to get order ID, which is second field in the order items, and the order item subtotal. And also, if you look at the data type of each of these fields, this is actually number. But when we extract from string, by default, it will be string. And we have to typecast it into number. And then we should perform the join. OK? The reason why we have to typecast it to number is, joining two data sets um, using number or integer is much much faster joining the same two data sets using the information as string so joins using strings is a bit expensive compared to join using numbers as the original type of order id in both the data sets is of type integer we have to typecast it to integer for performance reasons and also there are some functional reasons also uh, it, it is not functionally correct to keep data in the form of strings if the original type of that data is numbers or integers and we will see that later but for now from joins perspective functionally it will work but performance wise joining as numbers is better so we'll typecast to integers as well so the way we can do it is as we have to apply this logic on each and every record, we have to use map. Okay. So here I'm creating a variable called orders map and saying orders.map. I'm line breaking by using backward slash. And then I can create the lambda function, uh, give the parameter name as O, and the output of this. Uh, map is rdd of type tuple hence i put the circular brackets and now i can say int of o dot split comma which will give us array and of zero will give the order id the reason why i'm using int is to type cast order ID to number and then i can say o dot split comma of one now if you look at this output of this code you will find that it uh, each element in the rdd is of type tuple with the um, 
order id as the first element and the date as the second element okay now we have to do the same thing with order items so let me rerun this and then preview the data and then explain what transformation we need to do and then i will take it from there so i, I in order items dot take of 10 print of i you can see each record is of type string and we need this element which is of type integer and this element which is of type float so we have to create rdd of these two values and we have to typecast to their original format so i'm going back to sublime text copying this and naming it as order items map order items giving the variable name or argument name for the lambda function as oi so this one also will be oi this one also will be oi and in this case we already the second field so i have to change the subscript to one and then fourth field is order item subtotal uh, sorry it's fifth field hence i have to put four here okay so we are getting the second field and fifth field from our data set in the form of pair by applying map function on each of the strings in the rdd now we can actually run this code and also we can preview the data you can see each element in the rdd is of type tuple um, with the order id at the first field and order item at the second field that being said now i am going back to sublime text and join is pretty straightforward always join fall join will be followed by map sorry uh, join will be preceded by map uh, map will be followed by join if we have to join two data sets we have to typically apply map to convert whatever format uh, we have on our input data into um, the tuples once that is done join is very simple i am just saying orders join equal to orders map dot join order items map that's it there's no, nothing complicated when it comes to join okay now you can say for i in orders join dot take of 10 print of i so we will run these two lines of code and uh, preview the data you can see the order id at the first field and then a tuple at the second field again it's a pair okay even though there are three elements it's a pair the first element is a normal integer element with order id the second element is a tuple which again contain two two values one from the first data set and the other one from the second data set you can see the date which comes from the first data set which is orders and order item subtotal which comes from the second data set which is nothing but order items now we can uh, retrieve the information from these tuples and do further processing which we'll be seeing later okay so this is how joins are performed and typically joins are preceded by map and followed by map again if we have to um, apply certain transformations to further process your data for example if i want to get revenue for each date then i have to discard this and get a new data set with uh, these two values alone and then holding the key i can aggregate hence uh, in most of the cases joins are both preceded by map and followed by map okay 
um, we we use uh, the uh, the map which is uh, preceding the join to convert their original data uh, format into tuples and then uh, the map which follows the join will typically uh, discard the unnecessary data of uh, uh, whatever transformations uh, you require at row level uh, that will be the uh, that will be applied in the map that will follow the join uh, 